Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're enjoying the day so far. Today is October 14th, and as you guys know from a previous episode, Amazon Prime Day was just a few days ago. The crazy thing about Amazon Prime Day, it shows up midweek for two days, actually. People order things on those two days, and then they show up after. And during any Amazon Prime week, the busiest day of the week by far is always that Monday when we get back from a weekend, and that is today. Oh, I got Jonathan coming in today, thank God, because he's off from school for Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. He's gonna help me out today, and we're gonna do our best. I'm a little scared, but remember, we got all these shelves set up here. Here's one of them. All the new shelves set up. We're gonna get ready. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna get my mind and my body right. Let's get into the video. Yo, good hey. morning, bro. Good morning, man. How you doing today, bro? Good, bro. Good, good, yo. I'm glad to see you today, bro. Uh, yo, I think today's gonna be crazy, bro. You know how those Mondays are after Amazon Prime Week? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I hope you ready. I hope you ready. I hope you stretched. Yeah, I'm ready, bro. All right, let's do it, man. You clocked in? Oh, yeah, yeah make sure you clock in, bro. You gotta get your get your chicken, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got my bread. And then we got all this. Remember this from uh from Saturday that came that we didn't have time uh, to deal with. We yeah, got yeah. this. We got this as well. Let's get this out the way because I think all day, bro, it's gonna be bananas today. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? Yeah, hi, sir. Um, are you open today? Yeah, we're open today, 9 a.m. Well, obviously now until 6.30 p.m. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll see you uh, later today. You got it, my friend. All right, bro. How, how many packages you think uh, Amazon's going to show up with today? Show up with today? Mm-hmm. Um, how much do they usually show up with? Uh, anywhere between, like, 50 and 60. Yeah. I'm gonna say it's gonna be like up towards a hundred. I think so, bro. So, uh, what, so you saying a hundred on the dot, or you, what you think? I'm, I'm gonna go with like one ten. One ten? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go eighty nine. Eighty nine. Yeah, because I do think it's gonna be towards a hundred, but I, I, I'm not sure if it's if it's one ten. Let's put it this way, bro. Mm -hmm. If we get a hundred and ten packages today. <sighs> December is gonna be like the busiest month oh, like, of, of all time, bro. It, uh, we not, I might not be able to do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all done with that, bro? You want some coffee? Uh, yeah, I need some coffee. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need some today, bro. Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks. Have a good day. Yo, come see you Got some packages for us? Yes, just um, this much. You can handle it. It's a little on the heavy side. Oh, okay. Do you want to take one of these, bro? No, I think you can handle it because I can move to them back. Okay. But I just figured, well, I make two trips when okay. I could just walk across the street with a little bit of I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so Mazi is cool. She gets our packages when uh, Target delivers after hours. Um, normally they'll come deliver if we're not there. They'll just take them back. But Mazi is so sweet. She'll just say, hey, just give them to me and I'll give them to Fishbox in the morning. And today's the morning. Yo, bro, got the stuff? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, good look to Miss Z. She yeah. looked it up. She said, um, a delivery guy took a picture of this one, but then started taking it back to the car. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And then she, she flagged him down? Yeah. <laughs> she said she felt like a policewoman. Oh, yeah. Ms. Z, she ain't let nothing get by her. Yeah, definitely not. I might have to put her on the payroll for as much <laughs> as she be helping the fish box, bro. She yeah. us up, bro. Aw, oh, thank you, Ms. Z. And that's the truth, because we have spirit. You like that, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Z. You're very welcome. What's this that you brought in for us? It's not this bread. Oh, okay. I Ooh. Really love that. It's that sourdough bread, right? Uh, probiotic is what you call Oh, probiotic. It. Okay. Thank you, Mizzy. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, I need to water. Oh, okay. All right, bro. I got some gifts for you, bro. Mm. Yes, sir. Hey, what's up, y'all? So things are kind of calming down a little bit, and uh, we're getting a little time. Got the door open. Got that nice fall breeze coming through. But I wanted to talk about something that you'll probably experience if you haven't experienced already having your own mailbox store. And that is what happens when a customer's credit card gets declined. 
Now, this is like a very touchy situation and you gotta be very careful with how you deal with it. There's a couple things that can happen. One, when a customer subscription renews and the credit card gets declined, they're, and they're not in the store, right? So here at Fishbox, what we do is when that happens, we automatically generate an email, send that out to them, letting them know, hey, unfortunately we weren't, weren't able to charge the card that we have on file. Here's a way where you can go and update it, right? You don't wanna start assuming things like they didn't have enough money in the account, they tried to scam you, or they're just doing something bad. Credit cards get declined for all kinds of reasons. I remember going out and hanging out with some friends one time and having money in my card and having money on my account and giving my card and it came back as declined and they ran it again and it worked. So things happen for whatever reason, the banks have their own technology and we're kind of at their mercy. So you should have some type of credit card system in place or some type of alert system in place so when a credit card gets declined, you can send the customer a message just to let them know. Sometimes they do know, but sometimes they don't know. Now, what happens when a customer's in your store transacting and the credit card gets declined? There's two different situations. If they're in the store by themselves and you go to run their credit card and it gets declined, just try it again. If it doesn't work the second time, what you should do is just kindly let them know, hey, I'm sorry, the card didn't go through. Uh, let me know if it's anything that I can do or uh, normally that happens when a customer updates their credit card numbers. So I would say nine times out of 10, the reason why a card gets declined is because a customer got a new one. Whether they got a new expiration date and the old one that you have in your database doesn't work anymore, or something happened with their old credit card, they got a brand new one and they just forgot to update it with you. So nine times out of 10, that is what happens. So again, you don't wanna be making assumptions about they don't have the money or they're trying to scam you or anything like that. So get that out of your head. So that's the way to handle it if a customer's inside the store and they're inside the store by themselves. Now what happens when a customer's inside the store, there's three people in line or there's someone behind them, there's no music playing, it's completely silent and it gets declined. What do you do then? So normally what I do when that happens is I'll just let it slide, right? Most customers that we have, they come back often. So if a customer comes in, the car gets declined, there's someone behind them, I'll just say, hey, have a great day. They're definitely gonna get the email to let them know, but I feel like that's an awkward situation to be approaching them and saying, hey, we noticed that your credit card got declined and uh, yeah, give us another one. So there's just all, again, there's all types of reasons why credit cards can get declined from all different people from all different walks of life. I've seen every person imaginable that from every part, every demographic, from every color, shape, gender, size, doesn't matter. Everybody's credit card gets declined at some point in time. So you don't want to be making any assumptions. But I think the best thing to do when someone's in the store is just say, hey, you know, have a nice day. And if next time they come in, start the process over and just wait until they're by themselves. So how do you guys handle credit card declines? Let me know down in the comments. Let's get back to the video. Hey, what's up, how you doing today? Just those two today for us? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate you, man. Um, is this v -Hope? Yeah. Okay. Is this one all good? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you too, brother. I appreciate you. Yo, bro, you see Tesla's new Robo Taxi? Oh, yeah, I saw it, John. That joint crazy, bro. Yeah. Crazy. Yo, this week, or last week, yo, Elon Musk launched a Robo Taxi. He, did you see when he launched that rock, rocket out in space and then brought it back down and landed it on that thing? He launched a rocket? He launched that up brought it back down and then landed it right in this thing he launched the ai robots you see the robots yeah, yeah, oh yeah i saw the robots i'm over here like you know what i mean getting happy because we had you know 20 more packages this month than we had last month and he over here launching whole robots and launching spaceships and rockets out into the world bro i need to step my game up <laughs> <laughs> Now nah, let's keep it open. It's pretty nice out. Hi. Hey, uh, good morning. Um, I am calling because I needed to ask if you guys had any extra fees for um, for big packages. How big you thinking? Um, a box 
with about 10, wine to, uh, 10 bottles of wine. Okay, so we have uh, oversized charges for anything over 50 pounds, which is $5, and then an uh, oversize of anything over 70 pounds, which is $10. So is it over 50 pounds? Um, probably not. Okay. Uh, so either, either $5 or $10 is not uh, like overweight, but it's definitely not like for the week, $1,000. Oh, so we do have uh, storage fees, so if a package is here longer than one week, then it is $5 per week additional on top of the oversized charges. But the oversized charge is only one time. Got it. Perfect. And then also, um, could we possibly go about adding uh, someone else other than myself and my wife to, to go pick something up? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to send you a link so that you can, you can get that set up. Is this a good place to text you? Amazing. Yes, it is. Yep. I'm going to send you a 60-second Instagram video, and it'll show you exactly what to do to add someone else to your account. Perfect. Thanks so much. No problem. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? I was just, I was just checking to see if you were open today. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're open today till 6.30. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You got it, brother. I'll see you soon. I should probably put on Instagram that we're open today. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah. customers are probably thinking that we're not. Which... Makes me think that maybe I should have been closed today. Your customer's thinking we closed anywhere. I could have took a day off. You got it. Let's see what's up. I think we got one small one for you today. A small black one. Small black one. Yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. I'll see you next time. All right. Hey, Tanya, how you doing today? How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. I think I just have one pack. That's right. That's right. We got one piece for you today. Thank you. Happy day. You too. Solamente dos. All right, y'all. Quick update for the day so far. It's about 11:30, and we just got, I think, um, a bunch of Amazon stuff from some smaller Amazon flex drivers and UPS. So we got a lot more to go. But what's really cool is that my brother Jonathan has expressed interest in modeling, and I think it's great for him. I think it'd be perfect. So on Saturday, we took a bunch of pictures. And today he's just going through, seeing which one he likes, so that we can start editing them. And you're going to see this guy on the cover of some magazine one day. We're not sure which one it is yet, but once he's done, I don't know, maybe we'll share some pictures with y'all as well. And I'll put, actually, I'll put his Instagram down here so y'all can follow him, because he's going to start putting more content there as well. Look who just showed up. What's up, man? <laughs> so somebody drove by a little while ago because mm -hmm. you didn't tell me. That, well, I knew you had the new car, but I didn't know you was coming out to Philly, and I saw somebody driving by with this BMW and was honking at me. I was like, "Was that a customer?" <laughs> and then it was my mom in this nice car, so it was nice, man. So wel you. welcome to Philly. Where you guys going? We're gonna just find a place to have lunch. Okay. You got any ideas? Not yet. Okay. Well, what type of food you want? Thai. Yeah, here's a pumpkin that, uh, is this the one that him and Janelle did? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice pumpkin. We got a bunch of, two pumpkins here. But yeah, it's a nice one. It's a nice, perfect one. Look at that. Yeah, he did a good job on that painting. It's very creative, very abstract. Remember I told you, you gotta, you gotta do a hundred, you gotta have a hundred ideas before you have one good idea. Yeah. So the cool thing about digital cameras is that you can just keep painting keep taking pictures back in the day they had to use film so if you wanted to take good photos they had to literally take the film and if you had to delete 200 photos that means that was 200 dollars down the drain yeah. all right cool so now i'm gonna edit these up and then I'll, I'll i'll call you over so you can check them out all right cool thank you bro yeah no problem let's see how quickly we can get this customer in and out all right thanks man no problem enjoy the day how quick was that Oh, I didn't even notice it. <laughs> <laughs> that wow. service right there. Yeah. yeah, I think we got some food for you. Some of the usual. Yep, just that one box for you. At least so far. Cool. Thank you. Well, Thank you. No problem. Enjoy the day, guys. If you're considering franchising, the big question is, should you franchise your business? What? All right. So he's back. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see the outside of that bag, bro. So if y'all live in Philly, I'm not even sure. I think, bro, is this a Philly thing? I, I was, yeah, I think so. So if you live in Philly, you might have heard of Federal Donuts. It was started over there on I think like Fifth and Federal Street. They started just making donuts, but then somebody, from what I heard, I don't know, go to the website and verify this. But from what I heard is that somebody had the good ideas. You know, we make donuts, 
let's fry the chicken in the same grease that we fry the donuts. Or maybe it's the opposite. I don't know. But either way, it's good. So open this up, bro. Let's see what we got. Oh, it smells so good, bro. Don't forget the bed. The diet, diet Coke. He's watching his figure, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, this uh, right no. here, the honey donut. Oh, my God. I've never had a donut like this. They make a bunch of different donuts, but their honey donut, that's the best. Fries. These fries. I'm going to grab a couple of these, Jones. Mm -hmm. I see them chicken fingers, bro. And now the chicken tenders. You said these are Korean style, right? Yeah, that's what it said. They're probably nice and crunchy. Mm. Yeah. And you got a chili garlic sauce or something like that, right? Oh, I think they forgot it. Damn, bro. I told you to check, bro. I, I, I thought they assumed that it would have been here. I'm going to go back over there and get it? Yeah, let me see. Yeah, yeah, let me go. Go grab it, bro. I feel like you, if you want to taste it how it's supposed to be, bro. Yeah. Take that receipt with you just in case. All right, so for some of y'all OG Fishbox vlog watchers, you know we got three rules at Fishbox. Number one is always dress comfortable. Number two is check every package in. And number three is you got to check every package out. But one rule that I have for myself, for our coworkers, is that every Monday we do free lunch. Well, every Monday is free lunch. And if Monday is a holiday and we work on Tuesday, then Tuesday is free lunch. Those days are the busiest days of the week as far as the amount of packages that come in. So a way to kind of incentivize people who want to work on those days is to provide free lunch and i normally bring something in i'll cook for them i'll do something like that but today i haven't cooked and i didn't have any factor meals left so i thought i'd just order something for him and federal donuts has always been a big hit so maybe some of y'all out there y'all want to encourage y'all employees to come in on the busiest days maybe just buy them free lunch sometimes that goes a long way got one for you today right, thank you no pop enjoy the day like the tom Sachs, by the way What's that? The Tom Sachs Nikes? Those oh, are the Tom yeah. Sachs, right? Yeah. Yep. Just those two for us today? Yeah. Oh, light work. Please tell me you hit on that ticket this weekend, bro. No. Nothing? No. You got at least break even? It's not even it. Yeah, bro. FedEx coming in, bro. I think it's about to be crazy. All right. All right. You want to help him out, bro? Set it up here and I'll grab, I'll grab it and put it over there. Yeah, I got three. James, I'll be right with you. No problem. All right. Jessica, we got four pieces for you today. All right. One, two, three. One more piece. Oh, I see it. Ah. Me too. <laughs> Enjoy the day, my friend. Good, good, good. Go Irish. Go. We're doing pretty well this I know, year. I'm I not know. sure if you've been following. Northern Illinois or whatever was rough. They tripped us up. Um, but uh, it looks like we're spanking everybody else I in the know. process. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here we go. Here we go. All right, what number you say? You said 110, bro? Yeah, 110. All right, I said 89. We about to find out now. All right, y'all can see I'm probably one of the busiest days of the year. At least what I thought was going to be one of the busiest days of the year. So, Jonathan, you hear how many packages he said? Yeah, he said only 60. Yeah, only 60. So, damn. I, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, 60 ain't bad. So, we'll get, the, we'll get to working on this. Yo, you see this? When's the last time you see Amazon delivering a USPS package? I, I, I ain't I, never seen that before, I bro. I think I've seen that before. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, what's up, Target? How you doing today? I can't complain, my friend. You enjoying the day? Not bad, not bad. I got a couple more though. Okay, yeah. no problem. Oh, he just showed up too. This guy. Another one? Or two more? <laughs> I won't be surprised you got three more out in the truck. Maybe two more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's up, Joe? 
Good. 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 I like the like the DHL vest, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I really like that. I got we got to get ourselves ourselves some gear like that, bro. Ah, yeah. uh, so it's about three thirty, and everybody that I think is gonna deliver today has already delivered. USPS is probably not gonna deliver today because it's a federal holiday. So let's take a look at the shelves, see what it's looking like. So we got this over here, some empty, some not so empty. And uh, empty is good for me. In my opinion, the more empty things are right now, the better, because that means we got room to grow. We should not be full right about now. We got about another month, month and a half before things get full to the point where we feel like we're busting at the seams. So this, in my opinion, is looking good right now. Looks like it's about to rain outside. It's getting kind of gray out there. So we're just going to chill for about an hour or so until customers start showing up. We got about another three hours here, and I'll, I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, I think I want to install that just in case, bro. Figure why you're here, we can install it. I mean, I think eventually this holiday season we're gonna need it, so it could be kind of like the utility room. We could just have it for wherever we need it. All right, so that's the before. All right, the after. Man, USPS showed up today. I wasn't even expecting that. But they got that little that 1937 truck. Yeah. That, that that truck was probably made before you were born, bro. I appreciate you showing up today, USPS. I didn't even think y'all were showing up today. Yeah, of course they got us here. Yeah, you got the uh, the holiday crew out. Yeah. I got one. Is that everything you got for us today? This one right here. Okay. Okay, and then that's it. That's it. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good day. Hey, what's up, y'all? So it's towards the end of the day. About to close up shop now. Uh, kind of was hoping that maybe this might be some type of indication that holiday season was starting, but I don't quite get that yet. I think tomorrow might be busier. I don't know. Today was a holiday, so that's kind of throwing things off a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.